I, hi, I'm Karen. <laughs> I am an artist at heart and I am the founder of Paint Your Essence. And Paint Your Essence is a way of learning a little bit about yourself through art. Um, what, and um, Paint Your Essence has the word paint in it, but you really can use anything. Like some people write, some people, um, I think creativity is everywhere. And like, I know people who are really creative with numbers. I know people who are creative in their way they cook or the way they develop and make their own tea blends. Um, there's creative people in the way they do gardening, you know, even the way you walk to the office or you, you know, it's just the way you exercise. So it depends on what you consider your genius at. I think that is what you're creative. But um, so it's using all of that and um, learning a little bit about yourself by using that. Welcome to Parents Talk. We believe in nurturing strong and confident kids today rather than fixing broken adults tomorrow. When you know yourself and you know your choices and you get to see life so differently, you get to see life as what's possible instead of um, letting things get in the way. That's a beautiful sentiment for parents when they consider how they interact with their children. Why would parents want to get to know themselves better? Well, I think it's important for anybody's life, whether you're a parent or not, to tell you the truth, because um, I'll go back to the beginning. It's like, for me, when I learned to self-growth, it, it was a struggle, but I but you learn a little bit about yourself and even at the stuff that you don't like. But there's ways of learning that you have choices. You can choose to look at something as uh, as an experience and figure out why why it happened, or you can choose to say, well, that person hurt me and blame, you know, and then blame them for everything and be on a victim triangle. So I, I, I have found a way for myself to learn a little bit more about me um, because it helps me um, create a life that is so much more fulfilling and so extraordinary and so worth living a life that's full like that is just so much more fun and playful and and um, I think so much more happens for you in a good way than in a bad way. I love that you mentioned playful because I'm an advocate for finding your inner child. Yes, me too. <laughs> and once you find your inner child, you will relate to other yes. children, not only other children as in youngsters, but other people and their inner children. Oh, yeah. And I think I see the light of the inner child more now than anything else in a person and that's what that's why I was attracted to Karen in the first place when I met her in a speaker summit and why I asked her to come and talk because I think our our inner children were speaking to each other yeah yeah I loved your butterfly I I, I, I think I didn't realize that we were actually going to be doing this today because like I don't have my art behind me or anything yeah. you tell us any aha moments that people have had during your classes? Oh, I think there's been so many. I'm trying to like, like connect to some of them right now. Well, um, well, without saying, uh, there's just been like, there's someone who, um, <sighs> I've had tears. I, whenever I get tears, I feel like I've done a good job. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that, but at the same time, that means they it, it touched them. I think it depends on the topic, um, you know, because I do monthly sessions and in inside the monthly sessions, it's a sp specific topic and sometimes people can go deep. Um, I actually have, um, I have one a regular client who's a lawyer and she was so 
right brain and now she's left brain and she's really starting to play with color and she's starting to see how she's like shining and it's so different to for her in that realm um, to be more on the right side of the brain and not be so rigid um, so that's really cool I've had one person who learned so much more about herself and found ways to um, be stronger and um, um, actually a couple of pe different people kind of like realized you know looked at their relationships and realized that this wasn't the right person for them and they've uh, broken away from them and um, are growing and seeing what is possible for them um, one actually wanted to get into art therapy because of it so um, and uh, one my one of the one of my clients um, came with a picture in mind of what she wanted to make, and it was her first time ever coming. And she like sat down there and she's like, "I want to make this," and I'm like, "Okay, you know." And then she like stormed out of the room. So I went to go talk to her, and she said, "You know, it all came down to." that she took an art class one day and the teacher told her she was doing it all wrong and i said there's no right way right way or wrong way of doing this and she actually taught me something too because like paint your essence is all about symbolic painting it's not like you have to have it so perfect you have to have the elephant look like an elephant it can be abstract or something it doesn't have to be so perfect and um she taught me that, you know, she goes, I just want to put my hand in the paints and paint. So she, she did. So I started from that point on going, you know, you can pick your own symbols. Cause I used to set it up where if it was like a, um, about love, then I would have them do two doves and, you know, and like, so they had to use the symbol that I chose. And I'm like, not everybody connects to that. So it's more kind of became more like an intuitive painting for yourself so you put it out on the paper but it was really interesting that she had so much fun she said it's a mess and it's dark colors but i had so much more fun putting just playing with the color and the paint and not worrying about what it looked like so i feel like that's what my people my um, clients get out of this they get an opportunity to see that it you know it's a work in progress or it's not going to be perfect but i get what i'm like trying to teach myself from this how beautiful and i want to go back to the beginning of where you were talking about the right brain left brain oh Yes. I, I was an aircraft electrician in the military. I've got a degree in electronics. I worked in a factory where we counted numbers of products that were defective and how to fix them and how to prevent the defects. It was all very mathematical, very clinical, very stressful. And yes. I forgot how to connect with my creativity until I connected with my inner child. And I didn't paint though. I I made something out of flowers. I made a little crown out of flowers. That's so cool. As I was doing this, I felt something open up inside of me. Yes, yes, yes. That's perfect. So I could perfect. really identify when you were talking about that lady who was left brain, and then the painting helped open up her right brain. Yes. And it also made me think of parents who are so concerned with grades and health and discipline that sometimes they forget about allowing their children to be creative or better yet getting creative with your children right my, my yes. favorite childhood memory was when my mom cloth on the table and we just made stuff oh that's so great that's so fun i i love that that's <laughs> sorry that is so cool you know, I, I didn't realize how much I was a creative soul when I was a kid. Like, it didn't dawn on me. Like, I did needlepoint and rug hooking, but who knew? Like, yeah. <laughs> and then who knew? Like, I was like, I never liked the pre 
the pre-patterns I like so I had to create my own I was just know? thinking about that yes <laughs> it's like I was like I had so much more fun just like going outside the lines yes. and not being inside and I think that's what's also important is when you get to use your creativity and you play, you think outside the box. Yes. You don't have to worry about like, oh, I have to stay within this little, like, little thing. No, you get to be out there playing and experiencing life. <laughs> this is where all the new inventions come from. If everybody just stayed like this, we'd right. never get anything new. Yes. Totally. Yeah, I remember on the assembly line once we were building this product and like nine out of 10 were defective. Yeah. And everybody was thinking very in the box is the only way to put it in the box. Well, just get rid of that batch and bring in another batch. And then that batch was bad too. What do we do now? <laughs> I thought outside of the box. I called the manufacturer and I said, this is what's happening to your product. Right. Next thing I knew, these people from Japan were in our plant giving us what we needed to fix it. Right, right, right. Rather than say, oh, well, we'll just let it go through and then let them change them out at the end. <laughs> these. Japanese engineers were able to give us something that we could do during the assembly process. Right. Thinking wow. outside of the box and asking for help. It's so simple, right? And nobody asks for help. Right. I don't get that. I don't get that. The point I'm trying to make here is if you are a parent and you are the left brain or you are so stuck in the daily turmoil of making ends meet and getting your kids where they need to be. And you need some help to get out of that box. Yeah. Karen and other people like her can help you find a class. Right, exactly. I think what's also really cool is if you allow if you see that you are a left brainer, but your child is learning things differently as a, a right brainer, I think I was like that. I think the family I grew up in was left brainers and I happened to be the one in the right brainer side. And then you get shut down and you get cut off and you say, that's not the right way to be. You have to be this way. But no, let this child or let let this child be that creative soul because it's just going to brighten up your life just as much. You just have to like slow down and talk to them differently. You have to figure out a different way to communicate, whether it's in pictures or words, but it's like finding a different way of connecting with that child. I think that's really it just that just hit me that that how important that is and a good way for me to reframe some of my stories by the way is that if my parents knew that uh, yes. you know they would have treated me so differently I think Do you ever do classes with the parents and children together I've never but that sounds like a really fun idea I it just came to my mind for those parents who are left brain with the right brain kid, that could be a great way to teach them how to communicate. Yeah, yeah, true, truly. And then have the right brain say what they see and then have the left brain see what they see. <gasps> Ooh, that's uh, like a really fun class. Yes. <laughs> Even for adults, because, wow, yeah. I like that. Okay. Oh that, oh, that could even be marriage therapy for the left brain and right brain. True. Absolutely. It, or any relationship that's a yeah. little opposite that you don't, you're not communicating, right? Well, maybe there's something about that. that, that I, could you even can... see, I could see this as a corporate training also. Totally. Totally. <laughs> 
I love the creative stories. brain is just right? yeah, it's like our brains are just like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're 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 connecting. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, because I do a lot of leadership training. I'm seeing a very good exercise right here. Yeah, yeah, it was like looking at the left brain. Who's right? Who's wrong? Is it the right brain or the left brain? And what if they're both right? <laughs> they're both needed. Yeah, and they're both needed. They and they're they're a yin, yin yin and a yang. Yes. And they're both needed and neither one is perfect and neither one is imperfect. We hope we inspired you to change the way you think. If you just change one thought. How will you inspire your children to be more confident? Stay tuned to Parents Talk. And if you want more information about the Confidence Club for Kids, just plop a comment down below. I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. This is Francine Julien, the founder of the Confidence Club for Kids. We'll see you later.